Hey, good afternoon. I'm here with my friend Andy Pickup, publisher of the Wall Street Transcript. Thanks for coming in, Andy. You're welcome. Glad to be here again. Guys, we got uh, super cool stuff. Uh, you can find Wall Street Transcript at uh, TWST.com. Uh, um, it's a subscription product, and I'm going to give you a reason why it is. Uh, we have a really great interview with a guy that I just loved this one. Now, he's a money manager, Yep. and we're going to talk about him. Yep. I thought this was a fantastic interview, Andy. It's investing in small cap growth stocks, and they're from Needham. I know Needham from the capital market side are great stock pickers. That's right. And his record, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name, though. Larola. Uh, Bernard Larola, and he's portfolio manager of Needham Growth Fund and Needham Aggressive Growth Fund. Um, he, the Needham Growth Fund, you can get its N-E-E-G-X uh Chop, chop on the ticker there, German Mike. Um, and the Needham Aggressive Growth Fund is N-E-A-G-X. Um, and now I just bought some of the Needham Growth Fund this morning for my personal account after going through the interview again. Yeah, he's a smart guy. He's a smart guy. Uh, you know, they like small cap stocks. And he certainly seems to be the kind of guy who's willing to take a bet on a beaten up sector, right? Uh, yeah. He seems to be quite bullish on the... On the macro perspective, perhaps not right now, but over the next uh, 12 to 18 months. Right. He says he believes things are going to turn around in 2009. Uh, he's certainly looking at a lot of the stimulus that's been happening in the in the economy and believes a lot of that will start filtering through in 2009. You know, side point, personally, I agree with him. Once the uncertainty of the election process is over, I think that will steady a lot of people's minds. Um, yeah, oftentimes get... election years are are times of uncertainty, and therefore people don't take many risks. It's because of the liberal media, Andy. Is um, that right? Yes. I didn't know that. <laughs> it is. Um, and by I the way, I hope you're not accusing Twist of being part of the liberal media. No, no, no. Um, we particularly hate the Associated <laughs> Press here. We like we like Twist. Twist is our friend. Um, yeah, I saw where he said uh, he thinks people will soon start looking at 2009, which he thinks should be an up year with less disruption. Pretty much, uh, same as what you're looking yeah, for. Yeah, and he's quite he's bullish on the on the on the stimuluses that have happened within the U.S. He makes the point that energy, 50 percent more or less of you know, the U.S. energy needs are provided from the U.S. And therefore, while we're certainly making a lot of uh, you know Arabian countries rich, we're also making a lot of Texans rich. Yeah. Um, and that will start to filter through. Yeah. Um, I liked a, an awful lot of his his picks that he has here. Um, I liked in their companies that we've webcast often. Um, he did Dick Sporting Goods. He likes that's uh, DKS German, uh, CarMax, KMX, which we just did last week. Uh, Whole Foods, WFMI, uh, which the German and I own, uh, for better or worse. Um, Morton's, which I've been in and out of. He likes Morton's Steakhouse. There's one right up here. In and out of in what sense? From a stock point of view or yeah. for, for, for... Well, for in both meal. senses, actually. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's always good to come out again at the end of a meal. They have a nice polished kid up here <laughs> from Texas. It's the bartender. Um, I think that's on 45th. So um, he likes discretionary spending. I think his argument is that the discretionary consumer names have been beaten down. Right. Um, people fear the worst for them, and that now is the time to get back in again. I think that's his thesis, right? Uh, yeah, yes, it is. Um, now, this is what I thought was really interesting, is when he talks about the CEOs, because an awful lot of what we talk about on here are what kind of impressions the CEOs make from a webcast at a conference, what yeah. they say to investors, and then how they do, right? Yeah. And yeah, no, he makes a big deal of that, right? It, 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 he's he, all he about does. how he gets his information these days, how he, you know, he meets up with a lot of the CEOs. He spends a lot of his time on the road. Um, this is what what he said. He said, "For us, we're banking on the team, and we want to back CEOs who have an understated behavior, who build teams, who combine both vision and execution, who are disciplined." Uh, we don't like to see slides talking about 2012 because no one knows about 2012. When people have the hubris to believe they can describe 2012, we're skeptical, to say the least. Um, and I thought, man, he's, he's looking for solid, good managers. Yeah, he's looking for rooted people who know their business. Uh, 
and are, are realistic about it and, and communicate candidly and honestly with investors and frankly, uh, frankly it's, wor it, that. Well, it's worked out though yeah uh, he, he's a uh, little more than 16 percent combined annual return since inception for this one the neegx yeah um and i think that's got a two thousand dollar minimum and the nea gx has i think a five thousand dollar minimum yeah um and they're both Needham funds. I like Needham. Good stock pickers. This guy, he's a Harvard MBA. Is that right, Andy? Yeah, Harvard MBA, uh, you know, raised in Europe. So he has a very global perspective. Right. He said investing. he watches the news in both native languages. So he always knows what's <laughs> happening. Yeah. 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 He's a very smart do, now, guy. Now, do you do that? Do I do that? Uh, yeah, I watch news in two languages. I, I tend to watch, you know, English American and, and English American. side by side. <laughs> And by the way, you're not being ostracized for being a Brit still working here this late in June. Um, the country's pretty much closed down, right? No, Britain doesn't close down. It certainly doesn't close down when we failed to make the European Cup finals. No, <laughs> very <laughs> ugly, huh? <laughs> so, well, you better talk. Germany might be closing down shortly. Yeah. <laughs> I saw. I saw that this morning. Um, the super bad outlook, right? I was actually talking about their semi-final appearance. I was actually talking about their economic outlook. <laughs> <laughs> Is, uh, what's wrong with their? I, I haven't read that. What's wrong with their economic uh, outlook? The, they this morning. They over the weekend. They had a study that said uh, they have the most negative outlook in several years. Uh, for, for, for Germany their, itself. For Germany itself. You know, I mean, they're a big exporter of capital goods, right? And the strong euro plays havoc with that. Right, your bends can cost a little bit more. And your machine tools and everything else that the, the Germans manufacture. Um, I can't believe it's worse than Italy's, though, but... Well, how could you tell um, if it really was bad? Um, what else, Andy? What else? So... So he likes he likes discretionary consumer spending. Um, there's a couple of healthcare stocks he likes. Uh, United Healthcare, um, Express Scripts. He particularly likes Express Scripts. I think that's yeah. We webcast them all the time. They do all kinds of seminars for the, for their audience. Yeah. Where you know they get five hundred or thousand people listening. We do them all the time. What do they do? What is Express Scripts? They're like a middle manager for benefits plans. Okay. Um, and then they bulk manage them. They aggregate them. Um, I guess they buy drugs in bulk and services like that, like pharmaceuticals. Oh, okay. And so they have an awful lot to do. And they're gigantic. They're buying up lots more. Um, and they get gigantic audience listens. We do their seminars, too, not just like if they have an earnings or a conference. We yeah. did them at a conference last week, though, right, German, or the week before? Um, I don't remember which one. Um, if you go to WSMCO.com, you can search for any of these tickers. We've webcast an awful lot of these guys recently. Um, and it'll list which conference they were at and give you a URL for the conference. Um, Hologics, we do quite a bit. They're H-O-L-X. That's the one you were talking about where he says it was on sale after it blew up. They just added that to their fund. Yeah. Um, well, I talk to Fran from them all the time. Super nice, super smart. Um, and I think he's very much into that, right, which is which is looking out for things that are beaten down and trading at a discount and, and being smart enough to get back in at the right time. He certainly seems to have done that with Hologix. Yeah, he says he does a little bit of trading, right, when he feels like something's on sale or, um, uh, you know, uh, something's underpriced where it's an opportunistic buy and they don't like the company so much, but the price is overwhelming. He says they just seek to capture Relatively short-term opportunity, pick up 20%, 30%. Yeah. Not too bad, right? That's right. That's right. That's right. And at 16% a year, year over year, man, a uh, pretty impressive track record, right? Yeah, exactly. We bring you guys the good stuff. That's right. That's right. So there's a couple of other healthcare stocks he likes. Varian, um, which he seems to like a lot in the cancer oncology area. Um and Thermo Fisher, which is an instrumentation company. Yeah, we work. We, we, we webcast these guys quite a bit. Yep. Um, that's about it. Um, says he works with George Needham a lot. Well, George heads the firm. He's a he's a very rooted guy. Um, terrific. He's done a fantastic job at Needham over the years. Yeah, growing, 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 right? Yeah. Lifetime Fitness, I didn't know too much about. Their ticker LTM. Um, and he said they recently added Actuate, A-C-T-U. Yep. And added Demand Tech, D-M-A-N. Uh, those are three that I didn't know very much about, and I don't know if we've webcast What is Lifetime Fitness? Presumably uh, fitness equipment, I'm guessing. Yeah, I really don't know. Again, uh, ticker LTM. Yeah, cons you know, consumer company and discretionary. 
designs, develops, operates sports, athletic, professional fitness, family, recreation, resort, and spa centers. Okay. So mostly, actually, so spas and fitness centers rather than the equipment itself. Yep. And the other two actuate ACTU. Yep. Um, let's take a look at those guys. These are more software companies, I think, business services, right? Right. Yeah, uh, software services, business intelligence, performance management, right? Yeah. And demand tech, uh, DMAN. And, and in keeping with his theme, I think he's particularly looking at companies that have a big um, exposure to the financial services market as customers because his feeling is that that area has been overbeaten up. That but, anybody selling into the financial services area was beaten up because of the weakness of the financial services area. And his feeling is that at some point starts to... To, to you yeah, know, overdo it. He's so. a little. Um, he's against Goldman <laughs> and against the market at the moment. Goldman a couple months ago said jump into all the financial services. Now this morning they moved them uh, to sell. Um, they're saying they were too soon and they think it's going to drag on now. Yeah. Um, Demand Tech here. I see. Uh, uh, Friday now. Friday the thirteenth. Uh, they were just started cover with a buy by uh, Deutsche Bank. And Wed Bush Morgan that we love on the same day also had them at a buy. That's right. Um, and he's from which issue of Twist? Uh, the 16th, right? Yeah. So he was interviewed the week before. That's as right. usual, ahead yeah. of there. And we just webcast a demand tech at William Blair last week. Yeah. So yeah, so those They're calls are... They're DMAN. Yeah. Really good quality guy. I, I like his, his logical focus on the quality of the CEOs and the management team. Right, I loved right from being a webcaster, not having slides that project for 2012. I agree. You know? And I thought, man, these are like the key building blocks if you're looking, and you can see 16 percent year over year. Absolutely, He's a another smart great guy. interview in the Wall Street transcript. The well, smart guy believes in doing his homework. Seems to spend a lot of his time doing that homework, and you have to respect the opinions of someone who actually gets out there and kicks the tires. Right? Yeah. Well done. Thanks yeah. very much, Thanks. Andy. Glad to be here.